Hey, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com in the Las Vegas location. We're gonna be going over a brand today that's been around for a very long time. It's actually one of the very first brands that I used uh, back when I was probably 16 or 17. That brand is Crossfire Car Audio. I had one of their VR4000 amplifiers. It was a beast back in this day. I blew it up right off the bat because I didn't have the proper electrical to run it. And I thought it was just a crappy amp. But as soon as I fixed my electrical, it was powering my cells at that time uh, to Memphis Mojo 15s, like no tomorrow. So it was getting down. Anyway, fast forward 15, 20 years later, I now sell this brand on my website, downforsoundshop.com. We actually were the first ones to bring it to online sourcing. So uh, they were sticking to the brick and mortar style of um, selling it for the longest time. But after we talked, I'm like, man, you could push your brand a lot more to, uh, and service a lot more people if you would uh, get it out online. Uh, uh, you would want to pair it with a person like me that's going to push it and uh, represent it well. So. Um, once he did that, uh, we established a great relationship first, but now secondly, we're selling a ton of Crossfire Car Audio online. A lot of people were looking for it before because they knew about the brand, but they weren't uh, near a dealer close to them, so they would have to travel like 500 miles to get the product, but not anymore. You can get it from here truly. Uh, so we're going to go over in this video a few of their products that they have on their lineup. There's definitely not all of them. But we're going to go through a few of them, show them to you so you know uh, sort of their offering. Uh, but it is a higher end offering from Crossfire. It has a great reputation behind it. Uh, Roger over at Crossfire is a great dude. Uh, he's been putting out great products for uh, as long as I can remember. So first of all, we're going to start off with the very popular tweeter from them. It's an XS. ST1, rated at 80 watts RMS. This is gonna be right at two inches for their super tweeter. Very, very popular. Every time we get these in, we sell them out in no time. People will know about them. Great quality. Uh, the pricing comes in on those at $59. Then they also have a lineup of coaxials. You can see the four inch coaxials right here. They have them in, uh, I think, five and a quarters and six and a half, and so a few different sizes, but you're looking for a very budget friendly coaxial with nice quality. The Crossfire C5 series and the coaxials are very nice. And budget friendly as well. Uh, 45 bucks for the four inch and I would say the uh, six and a half are probably gonna be $20 more than that. Very budget friendly while remaining great quality. Next up, we have the Pros that they just came out with, the XT Pros from Crossfire Car Audio. Got your carbon fiber, full carbon fiber on the front side, your double roll surround. I don't know if you can see in there, but um, we got the yellow spider, decent sized motor on here, three inches on the mounting depth. And uh, these come in, like I said, they just came out with these, I think a couple of months ago, but these come in at $59 each. So be sure to check those out. Uh, this paired with this would be an amazing combo. So be sure to check out the XT Pros. Any of the Pro Audios from uh, Crossfire paired with these tweeters are gonna be a great combination. This thing is a hunger. It's a 10 inch mid from Crossfire, 150 watts RMS coming four and eight ohm. You can see on the cone here, or sorry, on the surround, it has the triple um, ridges right here. So it's gonna give you a different sound than the, obviously the six and a half or the pros over there. These are gonna be more mid bass, but still give you decent vocals as well. So you have your phase plug in here and on the back side, decent size motor. I've never seen that basket either used on any other speakers that I sell so that's pretty cool so those come in at $89 for that 10 inch mid come in different sizes and also uh, different ohm loads and uh, I think there's one more series of the uh, mids that they have so look on the website under the mid range and you may find another one I know of these two obviously but I think there's one more uh, they've been dropping a lot of mids here lately all right so moving on to their subwoofers um, this one is the XT3 Series 12. It's a dual half ohm subwoofer. Very nice. Um, their 
I think it's XT3s and XT4s are uh, made in the United States. So big beefy subwoofers here. Uh, we got dual tensiles per lead on the tensiles. Um, and we got a spider spacer right here. Very nice glue job. Love the basket design, wide open basket design here. So you're gonna get tons of cooling. Got your uh, blackened voice coil in there. It's gonna be high temp. And then looking around the back, you can see we got the cooling on the back plate right here. Love the shape of the back plate as well. A ton of uh, big holes in the back plate. Gonna give you more cooling out the back as well. Got the Crossfire embossed motor boot adding to the snazziness of this subwoofer. But very nice subwoofer here. These are gonna come in at $750 each. So you can check those out on the website. Uh, they come in 10s, I believe 10s, 12s, 15s, and 18s. I know 12s through 18s for sure, uh, but it should be 10s too because the motor I don't think it's bigger than 10 inches, which is usually what determines if a company has a 10 inch sub and a bigger sub or not. Uh, moving on to their amplifiers. Uh, Crossfire just came out with the XT series amplifiers, which are gonna be smaller and put out more power at a lower voltage. So it seems like, just like I was telling you uh, on the Mechman and uh, X's power video that we did that a lot of companies are moving to cater to the 12 volt side like they're doing away with uh, higher voltage amplifiers uh, well some of them would make it where they could run at higher voltage but now they're more catering to the 12 volt side so uh, this amplifier is going to put out a ton of power at lower voltage it also has a smaller footprint so it's a win-win for both sides um, I'm going to give you the measurements on this XT6 Looks like 11 inches wide, and let's see here, two and a half inches tall. Oh, and length. Length we're gonna be looking at. Uh, I would call it like 28 and a half, 28 and a half on the width. And this amplifier is a Korean board, so it's high quality, high power. It's gonna give you great reliability going to come in at $1,649 and we do have those at down for sound obviously. Moving on to their Korean style 4 channel which is their C7 2K or C7 2000.4. Don't want to get it confused with the C7 2K because that's a mono block where this is a 4 channel. But a very nice amplifier here. You got zero gauge inputs. You got your 8 gauge on your speaker wire. You got your status indicators. Power protect clip on channels one and two and three and four. So giving you the goods there. We got the Tiffany style RCA connections here. Very nice. We also have your crossover section here looking good. So uh, you're gonna be easily getting 500 by four out of this amplifier. Very powerful, nice quality amplifier. So that's gonna be our little tour of Crossfire Car Audio here at Down For Sound. Obviously we have a ton more of product in stock, but I wanted to give you a glimpse of a few of the items or I guess six of the items that we have, six or seven of the items that we actually have um, in stock and we wanted to put them out on the table right here so you could take a look at them. If you need anything Crossfire, be sure to hit us up, downforsoundshop.com. Yo, what's up guys if you want to see more of the hot content that you just saw in that video be sure to follow me on all my social media channels from youtube facebook instagram uh tiktok the life of price is my handle on there also have down for sound shop on facebook and instagram and don't forget snapchat is jpd4s check out all the hot content on there as well